Now, worried by the alarming rise in cases of the coronavirus, cholera, and other diseases, the Bruno State government is talking is taking precautionary measures uh, measures rather to contain an outbreak in the state. One of such steps is the fumigation of strategic places in Maiduguri and its environs. Jesse Tafida reports. There has been recent resurgence of the coronavirus pandemic, cholera and malaria across the country. The government at all levels is stepping up to ensure that the citizens are protected from contacting such diseases. Today, the Brno state government has commenced the fumigation of markets and other strategic places across the state. The Commissioner for Environment, Kakashi Hulawan, flat off the exercise. The exercise is to be carried out in phases. A timetable has been drawn. Each and every day a particular neighborhood would be visited and fumigated. Now, all sorts of chemicals, substances that made up pesticides, are available in the stores. We are going to cop mosquito and fight malaria. We are also going to be very proactive with a view to averting any pandemic like cholera or any other unknown or known diseases. The State Environmental Protection Agency is in charge of the fumigation exercise. Residents and business owners say the exercise is coming at the right time. They promise to complement efforts of government by maintaining good hygiene. He says this is a good development by the state government and we believe it will go a long way in curbing the spread of cholera and COVID-19. This one says I sincerely want to appreciate this gesture by the government. I believe is for the good of the state and we will ensure to play our part in curbing the spread of diseases. The exercise is expected to reach out to other places such as IDP camps. The Maituguri Monday Market is one of the places that used to record high influx of people every day. And the Borno State government believes that fumigating this market will go a long way in curbing the spread of communicable diseases. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, 